Dashboard Effect Podcast. I'm Brick Thompson. And I'm Landon Oaks. Landon, I wanted to revisit a topic we've touched on before, but that's basically um, the difference between Microsoft Synapse and Microsoft Fabric. You know, Synapse has been around quite a while. Mm -hmm. Fabric is a newer thing. That's been around a couple of years now, I guess. But what are you seeing now in the development of Fabric? What's still missing? When do you go to Synapse? When do you use Fabric? How are you thinking about that? Yeah, definitely. So, so we work in both. We work in Fabric and in Synapse. Um, typically, when we do Fabric, it's been requested uh, by the client, um, mainly because it, there's just bugs. You know, we're we're less efficient when we go into Fabric versus uh, Synapse. So, if we if you have your choice, you'd rather work in Synapse because you don't want to deal with the Fabric bugs. As it is, as it stands now, yes. As of today, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. a lot of stuff in preview still and. Yeah, yeah, stuff in preview, um, issues with, you know, guest access, uh, you know, bugs in how certain resources can succeed or not succeed because, you know, something in the background gets corrupted. Um, only way to fix it is through Microsoft support. You know, we've seen uh, quite a few uh, of these things that really are showstoppers for several days, depending on how fast you can get help. Oh, okay, because you can't get support in the, you know, in the moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You got to open a ticket. So have we had situations where a client came to us with a Fabric installation or implementation and the only way to solve it was to go back to Synapse for them? Yeah, yeah. So we had about two instances for that. Um, so the first one is a client that had Dynamics 365. Um, and Dynamics 365 has this great thing called Synapse Link, which means you get a full copy of all your Dynamics data um, with hardly doing anything, you know, a couple button clicks. Just um, connect it's great. Right to it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, really, really awesome feature. Um, Fabric doesn't have that, unfortunately. Okay. So in that instance, it's like, do we build a full custom pipeline or do we move to Synapse and just click a couple buttons and you got your data? Yeah. Obviously, you know, we went the Synapse route. Um, so that was one. The, the other one that comes to mind is there was a client that was using data flows to pull in data to their yeah. Fabric instance. Um, and they kept having weird issues where it said it succeeded, it would be missing out on, you know, three or four rows and they're like these this data is in our source why didn't they pick it up yeah um so we we ended up creating a pipeline to compare the two uh the pipeline picked it up fine you know there's instances where the data flow would continue to fail the pipeline would continue to succeed at the same time okay um so just better stability in that case are there any cases where you prefer Fabric at this point, or is it? Are you just doing it when a client says, "Look, we really want to be on Fabric," and you can't talk them out of it? Yeah, there's are there are instances like you know smaller companies, small data sets, great. You know, um, it, it, where we really start to see kind of the struggle is when we get into kind of these larger, you know, hundreds of millions to billion row data sets. Yeah, and it'll start to really those bugs will start to show. Okay. Um, so if you, you know, you have a very simple data ecosystem in terms of your, your source systems, your ERPs, et cetera, it's, it's not a bad idea. Um, and especially if you have, you know, like your end goal is really just to allow people to kind of explore your data easily, but you're not doing anything complicated. Okay. So I know that Microsoft is planning to keep Synapse. I don't, for for a long time, because there's a lot of people mm -hmm. that run on it, have yep, a yep. lot of work in, in it, and don't want to migrate it, and maybe can't migrate it to Fabric now. Um, but I also know that Microsoft, starting a couple of years ago, was saying, hey, the, the world is going to Fabric. Yep. Do you think it's going to end up staying in two places, or will, will at some point Fabric be solid enough that you can just do a migration over to it? Yeah, I... I, I would foresee um, that Fabric would eventually replace Synapse. Okay. Um, and I think this is one one key thing with our solutions and to anybody who's thinking about building a Synapse solution, stay away from the things like a dedicated SQL pool. Those are things you definitely don't want to be using in a new build, right? If in you're a new already, build in Synapse. Yeah, yeah. If you're already using them, that's fine. It'll, it'll work for a long time. Um, but that dedicated SQL pool is what people a lot of times think Synapse is, but there's a lot more behind the scenes. Um, 
that it doesn't even touch the dedicated SQL pool. So okay. like as an example, you know, for our solutions, we use a newer Delta Lake um, kind of technology. In Synapse. Yeah, in Synapse. And so all Synapse does is it moves data from point A to point B and helps us to query it to get to Power BI. Um, the data is stored in a data lake, which those are not going away. Delta yeah. Lake technology or Delta tables are not going away. They're just going to get more and more popular, better and better. Um, and they can very easily be moved to a thing like something like Databricks or even Fabric if you fabric want to. Fabric One Lake. Yep, exactly. Okay. Actually, Incredibly One Lake can just point to it, I think. Can't yeah, it? you don't even yeah. have to move your data for them. Yeah. You can just add a pointer and say, look at it here. Yeah. And then it becomes as simple as taking whatever process you built in Synapse, copying it over to Fabric or Databricks. Okay. And you're off and running. So if you have if you have a small data set, I mean, you're not you're not in the billions of rows. Mm -hmm maybe not even in the hundreds of millions of rows, Fabric might be fine for you at this point. I guess depending on what you're going to do, it sounds like there could be some problems with the, the data flows, with the bugs you've run into. But but certainly if you have big data, you should still be in Synapse. However, use a Delta Lake, not yeah. a dedicated SQL pool. Yeah, yeah. You're you're well not not a did you say not a dedicated yeah. SQL pool? Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. You're the idea there is you're you're setting yourself up for the future, right? Dedicated SQL pools for sure will be going away at some point. Um they're just expensive, yeah. hard to maintain. Uh but the the uh, data lake with this new parquet table technology that's come out, you know, with uh Delta Lake and um Apache Iceberg, et cetera. That's, that's really where kind of data analytics is, is moving. Gotcha. And then in terms of managing capacity, um, I think in the old days, maybe it's still the case in Synapse, you would spin up or spin down capacity as you needed it. You need to remember to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and in Fabric, that's maybe a little more seamless. It sort of handles it behind the scenes as you need it. Is that, is that right? It's actually the exact opposite. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. And that's one of the major drawbacks of Fabric. So there's no way to automatically pause your capacity in Fabric. You have to go in and manually do it. Um, oh, in okay. Synapse, if my capacity is sitting idle, I can change the time for two minutes if I want. It'll automatically spin down and not cost me anything. Okay. Fabric, you're just, you're just paying for it always unless you go in and you manually say, hey, stop this. Okay, and it doesn't scale automatically. You have to go in and tell it you need more. Yeah, for your, as far as your capacity. Yeah. Yep. You know, if you're at one tier, you want to go up a tier. Yeah, you got to you gotta do that. Interesting. What other sort of high-level considerations should people investigate if they're trying to decide where to deploy? Yeah, I, you know, I think, I think it really comes down to what are you going to be trying to do with your data? How complicated is it? Um, how big is it? You know, do you have multiple systems you're trying to bring in with lots of data in each? Um, you're going to struggle a bit with Fabric. Okay. Um, but, you know, you have a single system. You have some simple reports you want to do or even just give the users the ability to surface their data easily. Um, Fabric's not a bad choice at all. You know, you're okay. not going to be paying a lot for it. Okay. Well, let's check back in on this in a few months. It's changing fast. Oh, yeah. I know Microsoft is really committed to it. So we'll see where it gets. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm excited to see, but yeah, still more to do. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you.